Hi, welcome to the video tutorials on signals and systems. A signal. What is a signal? It is a physical quantity that varies with time, space or any other independent variable. Example, let us consider sine wave. It varies with time t. This is called time axis and this is called the amplitude axis. In this now, the information may be in the form of audio wave or video wave. It travels all along time axis. So, this is what you call a signal. Let us consider this signal. Here, T is independent variable. This is axis of T. And X of T, that is sine T, is dependent variable. That is dependent, dependent upon T. C. This is traveling this way. This is called amplitude axis and this is called time axis. Let us see about the classification of signals. Signals are of six types. Those are continuous and discrete, even and odd, periodic and aperiodic, causal and non-causal, energy and power, deterministic and non-deterministic signals. So, let us see what are each of those. Continuous and discrete signals. The signals that are defined in a continuous range of time are called continuous signals. Continuous in amplitude time. They are represented as x of t, h of t and so on. So this is the example of a continuous signal. What is a discrete signal then? Discrete signal is a signal that are defined in discrete range of time. See, here, these are discrete on the timeline. This is 1. Two. This is three. And so on. These signals are continuous in amplitude and discrete in time. Here the amplitude is continuous. Like this it goes. But it is discrete in time. They are represented by N. Timeline is N and represented in the form of X of N. Let's move on to the next signal that is even odd signal. Even and odd signals. A continuous time signal X of T is said to be even if it satisfies the condition X of minus T is equal to X of T for all T. We have example for this. Example, X of T is equal to cos T. And if the signal satisfies the condition, that is X of minus N is equal to minus X of N for all N values, then it is called an odd signal. And I showed here in discrete form. This one is continuous form. And a continuous time signal x of t can be expressed in terms of even and odd. Let us see the proof for that. So, today we will find the even components and odd components of the signal. For that, we need to derive from the equations. So, x of t is equal to x of even components of t plus 
x of or components of t let us consider this as equation number 1 and x of minus t is equal to x of even components of t minus t plus x of or components of minus t so this becomes x of minus t is equal to plus x of even components of t plus sorry minus of x of or components of t since we know that x of minus t that is x even of t is equal to x of t and x or of minus t is equal to minus x of t let us consider this as equation number 2 now combining equation number 1 and 2 we get x of plus t plus x of minus t is equal to this one first component x e of t plus x or of t plus x even of t this one minus x or of t right cancel this four then we get 2x even of t that is x of t plus x of minus t is equal to 2x e of t now cross multiply x of t plus x of minus t by 2 is equals to x e of t so x all of t get cancelled out and this remains even of t even of t 2x e of t and x of t plus x of minus t equals to 2 into x even of t x of t plus x of minus t by 2 equals to x e of t this is done by cross multiplying two so this is how we get the even component let's know about the odd component of signal x of t periodic and non periodic signals what are periodic signals a signal is said to be periodic time signal x of t a signal is said to be periodic continuous time signal x of t if x of t is equal to x of t plus t where t is equal to 2 pi by omega naught where t is fundamental time Omega naught is fundamental frequency. If a signal, if a signal contains multiples of pi, then signal is periodic this is the main thing to remember if a signal is multiple of pi if a signal is multiple of pi then the signal is periodic let us consider some examples for this equals to cos of pi pi t it contains multiples of pi let us see how to find the fundamental frequency of sign 2 pi by omega naught or omega so 2 pi by frequency 
is 5 pi. 5 pi. So it is time, final time period, or time period is 2 by 5, 5. 2 by 5 seconds. And let us consider example number 2. Cos of b pi t plus sine of 2 pi t. It can't. Here t1 is equal to 2 pi by 3 pi. We know the formula. t is equal to 2 pi by omega naught. That is 2 by 3. And t2 is equal to 2 pi by 2 pi. 2 pi. Cancel and we get 1. So t1 by t2. Let us write in this way. 2 by 3 equals to t1 by t2. So 3t1 is equals to 2t2. Then the main frequency which is equals to t1 or 2t2. This implies 3 into what is t1? 2 by 3. Cancels out. We get 2. Or 2 into t2. What is t2? It is 1. 2 into 1 equals to 2. Seconds. Seconds. Let us consider another. Let us consider this example. Here there is no pi. So this is a non periodic signal. Let us move on to the next statement that is causal and non causal. If x of t is equal to 0 for all t less than equals to 0, then the signal is causal. Got it? It is increasing or it shouldn't be there in the negative time axis. Minus 1, minus 2, this is plus 1, this is plus 2 and so on. It should be there. It can be there here. Like this. shouldn't be there in this portion then this signal is called causal signal then what about non-causal then what is non-causal signal it can be in the negative area also negative time line also Next, we will move on to energy and power signal. These are the formulas of energy and power signal. E is equal to limit T tends to infinity when time tends to infinity. Integral of minus t to plus t x of t whole square t t. This is energy signal. And it, when it comes to power, t tends to infinity. When time tends to infinity, what is power signal? When t tends to infinity, 1 by 2 t integral minus t to t x of t whole square t. This is power, power signal formula. So let us know what is an energy and power signal. And these two formulas are very important. So what is energy and power now? When energy is equal to a finite value and power is equal to zero, then it is called energy signal. What is power signal now? When 
nth is equal to infinity and power is equal to finite. Then it is called power signal. Energy is equal to infinity and power is equal to finite. Here, energy is finite, but power is zero. See, this is power signal. It contains finite energy. When energy is finite, that is energy. When power is finite, it is a power signal. And here we need to see that here energy is equal to infinity. And energy is equal to infinity is zero. It cannot be a power signal because it cannot exist that way. Let us discuss what is deterministic and non-deterministic signal. What is deterministic and non-deterministic signal? If if we are able to represent a signal in mathematical form, then it is called deterministic signal. Otherwise, it is non-deterministic signal or random signal. It may be this is non-deterministic. 